Good evening to our viewers in the West, and thank you for joining us. We are going to begin with breaking news because tonight the FDA has authorized emergency use of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine, an historic and hopeful milestone in the middle of a horrific pandemic. CBS News has learned tonight's decision comes after President Trump's chief of staff told the head of the FDA, Stephen Hahn, earlier today to sign off on the vaccine now or hand in his resignation. Now that the shots have been approved, Pfizer and the federal government are starting to roll out, shipping nearly 3 million freezing cold vials of the vaccine to more than 600 sites across the country. Tonight, hospitals are awaiting those shipments of vaccines, and at the same time, they're overflowing with more new patients infected by COVID-19. As we come on the air, there is more evidence that we are now at the worst moment of this crisis. In the past week, more people have been infected in the U.S. than at any other time during the pandemic. Deaths keep skyrocketing, too. Nearly 16,000 Americans have died this week alone. And with it likely to take months to get enough Americans vaccinated to stop the virus from spreading, tonight cities and states are imposing drastic new restrictions. That includes New York City, once home to some 23,000 restaurants. Well, starting Monday, all indoor dining will be banned. We have a lot of new reporting for you and your family tonight, and our team is covering it all. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas is going to lead off our coverage from Kalamazoo, Michigan, where workers are just starting to get those vaccines out the door. Good evening, Manny. Nora, good evening tonight. The head of the FDA denied that he was told to either sign off on the vaccine immediately or resign. But sources tell CBS News the threat was clear. The president wanted this vaccine to be approved as quickly as possible, putting political pressure on a public health process. Now that the FDA has given that final approval, workers at this Pfizer plant in western Michigan can begin the process of rolling out the first shipments of millions of doses of the vaccine. Tonight, the vials are filled and waiting in more than 300 sub-zero freezers for the green light from the FDA signaling Pfizer can ship them. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar. They'll use FedEx and UPS. They drop ship through a very tightly controlled system to the 636 sites our governors have designated for this initial tranche. It's a massive logistical operation. UPS says the process has already begun, shipping vaccine kits with supplies like syringes. The next step will be transporting the vaccine itself and then sending dry ice to sites that don't have the ability to store the vials at the required extreme cold temperature. Adding to the delicate process, hospitals only open the shipments twice a day and confirm the dose count for three minutes before storing them. Frontline medical workers will get them first as early as Monday. Well, this is our ticket out of this pandemic. Dr. Nick Gilpin is the chief medical officer at Beaumont Hospital Gross Point outside Detroit. Part of a hospital system that currently has nearly 600 COVID patients. Beaumont Health's first batch is expected to cover about 1,000 employees. I believe that um, by taking the vaccine myself, which I intend to do, I hope that I can spread that message to our providers and get people to understand that it really is the right thing to do. But not the only thing, he says. Until a vaccine is widely available this spring, mask wearing and physical distancing remain the general public's best shot. Manuel Bohorquez, CBS News, Kalamazoo, Michigan.